think I forgot to mention that we moved uh, we moved down the road to the quick trip. There's a quick trip here uh, because we thought we were going to be here a little bit longer and we wanted more food options. You can only eat so much Indian food before you poop on yourself. And uh, I was pretty much to that point. So they've got uh, they've got a, a Culver's there and a McDonald's and a Quick Trip and there's a Dairy Queen over there. I apologize if it's super windy. Oh, there's a Subway here too. We planned on getting some Subway for breakfast uh, in the morning, but I think I kind of lucked up and found that load. Um, one of the things though is they're not factorable. Their credit's too bad, but they offer like a quick pay, like a 1.9% to be paid in seven days. And I think that's, uh, I'm, I'm okay with that, honestly. As long as I get paid, you know? I wouldn't mind waiting 30 days to get paid if I knew people were actually gonna pay me. But it's, uh, it's a scary thing not knowing if you're gonna get paid uh, for all the work and all the uh, money and fuel and everything that you put into a load. So, anyways, I'm walking the dogs. Lead is gonna walk over to Culver's. I planned on getting, uh, I planned on getting um, some Dairy Queen earlier, and they don't open till four o'clock. So Lita waited, and then she's like, "Well, maybe we should just go ahead and go grab our showers and get some ice cream." I'm like, "Well, I want to stick on the boards until the boards die down." And uh, good thing I did, because that's when I found that load. So, anyways, I'm just going to walk these dogs, get back in the truck. We're going to try to be over there for first thing in the morning. Um, it's about a thousand miles to South Carolina. Tomorrow is Tuesday, so I'd like to be there to unload, like, first thing Thursday. That way we can grab something else and uh, bounce around a little bit, make some money. Man, I keep thinking about this uh, truck auction and buying another truck, and it's it's kind of scary, honestly. I'm still not sure what to do. A big part of me is like, just keep the Mac, because the times are bad right now. But another part of me is like, the price of trucks have dropped so much that I'm afraid. It's kind of like uh, dealing with cryptocurrency. It's like buying it at the low right now and then you'll buy cryptocurrency and then tomorrow it'll drop even more you know I, I don't know I just don't know what to do by the way we did our uh, first live in a long time on uh, Saturday night I appreciate everybody that showed up appreciate all the super chats the dogs are going to enjoy their um, probably order them some stuff off of uh, uh, Maybe some stuff off of Amazon and maybe pick up some stuff in the stores here and there. Get them uh, the most that we can get them for. We don't like to buy raw hides and stuff. So, and that's mostly what the Walmarts and everything else that those type of stores have is like, like raw hides. And uh, try not to give them stuff like that. Anyways, let me walk these dogs. All right, good morning. We made it to... Um uh, Oshkosh last night. Apologize if it's windy, but uh, we made it to Oshkosh at about 10 o'clock last night, which means we can move at like 8. Look at all this trash and crap. Um, I just can't keep thinking that we're getting duped on this load somehow because there is a ton of flatbeds, or there were, sitting here empty. And, uh, and this is the best paying load I've seen in a while. So it's $3,800 for a thousand miles. So even after deadheading like 200 miles, it's still over $3 a mile. I mean, they didn't say it was oversized. I think it's just two military vehicles that weigh 30,000 pounds. I don't even think it's picking up at a, at a military base. Oh. Kind of slept like crap. I watched a TikTok where they were like, it was like uh, one of those sleep doctors, and they're like, if you sleep like this, this is the worst possible way you can sleep. Do you have neck and lower back pain? And then he showed how how that person sleeps. That's, that's how I sleep. I sleep on my stomach, usually, on my side, kind of, with one of my legs, like, tucked up to me. No, no, no! Yeah, it scared the shit out of me, dude. You're okay. 
It's okay. It's okay, fat butts. I think that's his owner coming. Yeah. Come on. He's calling you. No, 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 Mackie. No. I thought I had the camera pointing at the dog the whole time. I had it pointed at me. <laughs> that dog just come running down here all bristly. Going after my dog, Lena freaked out. Is he okay, Max? I don't know. I will, I will pick that dog up and slam him on Easily. Huh, Mackie? Kind of went after Mackie a little bit. Huh? Kind of went after Mackie a little yeah, bit. Yeah, seriously. Hey, he's Well, yeah, I know, but it, it might be because it's cold. Well, they don't have long hair. Anyways, there's all kinds of trucks here. Look, there's a military truck right there on RGN. Ooh, it's cold. All right, I'm gonna walk these dogs. Hopefully it's not a big giant cluster F. And, uh, oh my God, it's so windy. All right, let me get off here. I can't believe I was just looking at myself. I was like holding the camera like I was looking at the dog. But look, there's a lot of these here. That RGN with that uh, military vehicle. When I bought my ramp kit, it showed one of those driving up my ramps. I'm pretty sure I would be too tall with that thing. Yeah, I mean, because look at that tire thing that they have on the back. It's just as high as that van trailer next to it. I mean, maybe if they took that off, it wouldn't be. I'm freaking out, man. I hope this isn't a nightmare. It just, seems to, it just seems too easy. It just seems like there's a lot of flatbeds sitting here empty. And that load was on the board for probably 30 minutes. Maybe a lot of people didn't take it because their credit isn't very good. Oh, that's where we're taking it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, look at all of them.
call a number, but it doesn't, the broker didn't say it, the, nothing says it. Uh, yes, hey, I'm here at the gate, but they told me I guess I was supposed to call a number. I wasn't told to call a number. Okay, what gate are you at? Um, what's this address, Pebs? I'm at the Oshkosh Defense Storage Lot. Yep, we have quite a few lots. Okay, gate, gate 12A. They just, they emailed that. Gate 12A. I'm here to pick up with, uh, SKUP, STMK Group. going to South Carolina, North Charleston, South Carolina. Okay, and do you have a bill of lading for what you're picking up? Um, I have a Raycon. Okay, I have S97607874. And your name? My name's Robert. Uh, should be South Georgia Hot Shot. I, the number's correct. It's going to the right location, but you are not the driver that the broker has assigned to the load. Uh, weird. Could it be Graciela Barrios? Uh, no, by Veronica. Yeah, I have no idea who Veronica is. Yeah, I'm going to need you to reach out to the broker and have them put through a driver chain so oh. we can get you um, um, available to pick this up because right now I can't get you loaded. Okay, we're emailing and them now. Oh, really? Okay. Yep. As we, um, over closer to exit number 13 in Highway 41 for you, um, that's why we have our own call and call truck stop. Yeah, they didn't mention anything about calling and it didn't leave us a phone number or anything. Okay, um, tell you what, if you can get a hold of the broker, um, we'll get that No, they, they, they've got me pulled over to the side. He said people can get around me. Okay, so why don't you try to hold the broker, get the driver change put through. As soon as I get that, I'll call you back. Okay. And we'll get you directed to the right lot. To All right, so, sounds good. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you.
that was only about a 45 minute ordeal. It wasn't too bad, but like, how do you put the driver's name wrong twice? That's wild. So these trucks that we're picking up are freaking cool. I'm gonna see if you can actually buy them as the public. Not that I could probably afford one, but if I can, I mean, look how many there are. Surely they can't be that expensive if they're just stacked up here, huh? Maybe they're just giving them away. Yeah, right. Can I have one? <laughs> I mean, there were more at that other, that other one. I bet we're getting the tan ones, though. Oh, you think so? Oh, yeah. Dogs are going to be straight ahead of you. Okay. You're going to want to go in on the right, loop around. And, and then back, back into in. it. Okay. Because we've got a bunch of traffic on the sure. left. Sure. Um, they'll load you up. I think they just left. They'll be back in a little bit. Okay. Um, yeah, she said they go on break from like 9 to 9.15 or something. Yeah. Um, so they'll be back in like 20 minutes. Oh yeah. Um, once they're done loading you up, you can park right over here, strap down. I'll make work for you. Sign Fantastic. Down. What are these? Huh? What are these? What are they? Are they for the military or can yeah. normal people buy them? Uh, I think technically you can. Bro, they are badass looking. If you got half a mil. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just run to the bank real fast. I'll be right back. <laughs> Is that what they cost a half a million dollars? What's up? Is that what they cost a half a million dollars? Uh, the. Yeah, the jails, yeah. My goodness. About that. Cool, man. Well, I appreciate you. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. Half a mil? Yeah. Well, we just got to start saving. Yeah, right. Look at their tires. Their tires are like... I think they have the suspension lowered. So freaking cool looking, man. They're JLs. I guess I'll let Dad know. JLs? Dude, you can't tell me those aren't the coolest looking trucks. Yeah, I think the suspension, maybe, maybe they're on air ride and the airbags are empty. All their wheels. Yeah, they're all tucked in. There's no way they drive like that. Except for that one right there. Right. Oh, yeah. Here. I bet you that one's been started recently and the airbags haven't leaked out.
get an air ride, glad hands in the back to pull trailers. Like these things are freaking awesome, man. Awesome. Maybe when we get down the road, I'll uh, see if we can see the windows. All that. loaded up pretty simple to chain down big vehicles like that they usually always have heavy duty hooks or whatever you're supposed to hook to let me see here get a number for me uh, man these trucks are freaking cool man s two six s two six hold on s two six zero five a a It's windy as crap outside. Oh, I'm excited. We got us a load going back southeast. It is South Carolina, and I've been telling myself not to go to the Carolinas, but I did check it, and it did seem like it was doing better than where we were. And we're close enough to the house to where if it just doesn't work out, we can just drive home. Oh, you punching in the address? All right, we're gonna hit the road. Oh, it's just another doggy. You see doggies all the time. All right, we're somewhere in uh, Indiana at a TA. I want to stop and get a shower. Man, those trucks are so freaking cool, man. They are so cool. Um, we were going to go to the pilot because I would have gotten a slightly better um, deal with the uh, pilot there. But uh, the reviews on the showers on that pilot are absolutely terrible. So I'm just going to pay a, an extra one or two cents here at the TA and just go ahead and get, uh, actually, I mean, I guess I had, I had shower credits here at the TA. Um, I could have just took a shower and then came over here and got fuel or got fuel and came over and took a shower. I, I didn't want to mess with all that. So I just paid an extra couple cents. It'll probably, I think we got 129 gallons. So you figure maybe like a dollar 50, maybe at the most. I think we've got uh, seven hours left on the clock and we've got like uh, 12 hours left to drive, something like that. We'll be there tomorrow. Should be able to drop first thing Thursday. So I'll set the board, I'll set the board up probably tomorrow to start looking for something out of there Thursday. Um, we were uh, pre-approved for $75,000 to buy a truck. So probably go down and see at least what they go for. If, uh, if we can catch a deal, I'll probably go ahead and buy one, but I'm not going to, uh, I think a mistake a lot of people make, you guys watching a YouTube video earlier, if you go there with the intentions of buying a truck, you'll probably overpay it. He ended up paying like $50,000 for a 2015 uh, uh, T680 with like 800,000 miles on it. And he's like, I'll, I'll just throw a new motor in it when I make money in six months. You might not make that money in six months. And that's kind of a silly way to look at it. But I'm not going to go there with the intention of buying a truck. And uh, we'll just look for some deals. If it happens to fall in our lap, then it happens to fall in our lap. But if not, then it, it just doesn't. So anyways, let me walk these dogs. we got to get a shower. And uh, we'll probably drive our clock out tonight. Don't eat any of that bread. What's wrong with you? 